Hello, and welcome back to Hunted Mini Bikes. Today, we're starting our new project cart. Now I picked this one up for pretty cheap because it was having issues. It would barely start and run, and when it did, it only got up to about 10 miles an hour. So let's take a look and see what we can do. The first thing that I noticed when I picked this up is they said they had to use starter fluid to get it started. So I took a look at the gas, and wow, it's turned off. So we're just gonna move that over there. And then, I don't know if you know, but the choke is supposed to pick a side. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to start. We're gonna make sure that the on is in the on position here. So there we go. And here we go. That may have been the issue, but obviously it was running like turd biscuits. So take a look at this throttle line here. So obviously it's hooked up here correctly. We're gonna go over here and, oh, would you look at that, here's the choke point. So if we, wait, why do we hit that before full throttle extension? And why is that crooked like that? Well, the first thing I noticed is this return spring doesn't return anything but broken hopes and dreams. And also, this doesn't even go to full throttle, let alone this throttle screw is set in quite a ways. And with a few springs and just pulling back the throttle cable a little bit, re-securing it right there, uh, we have successfully got the throttle to come back all the way. And then I also noticed that when you pull the pedal, it only comes out to about here when that's full throttle. So I went ahead and adjusted this choke point where I took it off because this used to be here. But the spring actually does that job anyways, so we don't need that. And ooh, now we are getting full throttle. Perfect, I'll just toss the top of that back on and see what she's got. You know, I could probably check the oil too. That, that might help a little. I can almost guarantee this thing's running so, oh my God. That looks different. I mean, it's hard to smell oil. It definitely smells like gas. And I'm sure we're gonna get some questions answered because um, looks like, a, yeah, oh my God, why is there too much oil in there? Okay, so let's get some of that out. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see how it goes. Sounds a little better. Still runs like shit. And the only other thing we're gonna do is check the brakes because I'm actually gonna go test the top speed on this. And I know those brakes work. And these tires may be low on air, but I also don't really mind that. Oh yeah, and, and the gas. Probably check the gas. Yep, there's gas in there. Oh, it's a bit shorter than I thought it would be. Well, it doesn't like the extra throttle. And I doubt this thing is gonna go uphill. Ooh, that sounds so good. You just take a break, little buddy. Alrighty then. That's okay. I think there's a motor swap coming. So we've got the motor swap done here, and just for shits and giggles, we have a 26 millimeter carb on a 196 cc. So let's see what we can make happen. Okay, we have the GPS with our speed. It's been warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna put this in my pocket because there's nowhere safe to hold it. And let's go test the max speed because before it was zero. Okay, that looks like a good view. Oh my God. Definitely better than that other motor. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not tuned correctly. At least for the top end. Oh my God. Holy bejesus. And man, these 
these drum brakes suck ass. But they work. Woo! This thing is definitely getting a live axle. We officially hit 38 miles an hour uphill and not tuned correctly so i'm very impressed with our little 196 but if you do the math i don't think this is actually happening so 10 inch wheels 7,000 rpm a 54 tooth axle and 10 teeth on the clutch i did go and measure all these things and it says 38 max speed but i really don't think the 196 is hitting 7,000 rpm that'd be crazy Okay, so we tuned what we could. I don't have any bigger jets than a 125 right now. So we went all the way up with the jet needle to give it as much fuel as possible. And we got a speedometer. So let's go try it out. Okay, so this is a one wheel squealer. It's this back left wheel. So we can only drift turning left. Like I said before, this is just the beginning of our new go-kart build, like the very beginning. I didn't even put air in the tires yet, 
mostly because they won't hold any. But in the future, we're going to be getting a live axle, maybe a torque converter, and we're definitely going to do something about this vicious steering because I don't want to roll out of this cart. Until then, I hope you enjoyed our video here at Hunted Mini Bikes, and we'll see you on the next one.